Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm here with someone different today. That is because Drew Doe is currently at my grandmother's house because as you can see by the title of this video, we this is my final packing video part two for Florida for Disney. Um, my first video, part one, will be linked down below. That's where I showed you the clothes I'm wearing to each park. So we're going to Magic Kingdom on the 12th, Animal Kingdom on the 13th, and Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival on the 15th. But, um... Basically, I packed my suitcase, which had all my clothes, and one disclaimer I do want to make, I am a huge overpacker. I've done this probably since the age I could pack, like, on my own. Even then, when my mom, when I was, couldn't pack myself, my mom told me, lay out your clothes, which ones you're going to bring. I would always bring, like, twice as much. So, I've always been an overpacker, but since Judah's not in this video, Lady can be out, which is my, she doesn't like being held this way, so I might not hold her for long. But my dachshund, our family dog, and they're, uh, we have a Labradoodle, and um, they're going to a dog place that we like babysit them, which has a big field, so they always love it because they get to run around. But this is her. Um, she's about to be 11, so that's why she's just in here. If you hear her like collar moving around or like that, she's over there laying down. So for today's video, part two, packing for Florida. Um, it is currently the night. We technically, we're going to leave today, but we're technically leaving 5 a.m. tomorrow, so Sunday the 10th, and um, we do, my parents have like um, timeshare, so we do stay off site, but we like to go swimming. So last year, we have done multiple options. I explained this in part one. We've flown, and we've taken the Amtrak, and then we've dri driven and stayed at a hotel half the time because we do live in Virginia, so Florida is about like a 13, 15 hour drive, somewhere around that. Um, but I'm going to be helping driving this year. I do have my learners. Um, it's like an hour to we, or like two hours to we, out of Virginia. I'm going to drive that because we don't think I can drive out of state with the learners. So that's why I'm just driving like the two to three hours in Virginia. Then to we like get to North Carolina or whatever. Then, um, what was I saying? Oh, so I showed you all that. Today in this city I'm going to pack my toiletries and, um, what like I bring in the car with me kind of like a carry-on bag I guess you could sit it like you were going on a plane that sort of stuff um so first um I do sit in the back seat um when obviously I'm not driving when you're out of Virginia and for Florida I always bring a blanket everywhere I go because for some reason I will actually at home I literally just sleep with this blanket in like one sheet like so I get it really hot at night so I always sleep with one thing um, and most of the nights really with nothing. That's why I always just bring this and I don't have to mess up the sheets and pull them all off. I just sleep on top of the sheets there. I mean, obviously, the sheets are all clean. Like, I don't have a problem with that. It's just, I get super hot. That's what this is for. And for, like, the car ride and just around the little condo, condo place to, like, hang out, keep me warm in case it's cold inside. And then a pillow. Um, I don't, I sleep sometimes if it's, like, I'm really tired, but I get motion sickness, so not a lot. But what I mostly use this pillow for, I think I got this, like, for Valentine's one year from, like, my parents. But, um, I'm going to, I usually use this to, like, sit on my lap. So, pretend this is my lap and, like, put my iPad on here. So, there's that. That's kind of Then I also have this, which is my main wallet. I have, in my suitcase, I have my Disney wallet. It's just, like, a little card holder with a bunch of Disney gift cards from holidays that I've gotten over the year to bring but that's in my suitcase but this has like my learner's permit um just a bunch of important stuff in here so that's like this is my main wallet so that's why that's out because it needs to be in the car when we drive in case something were to ever happen um obviously and then I have my book bag. Now this is my school book bag. Um, I've had this since eighth, seventh grade or eighth grade. I don't know, but I'm going into tenth grade this year. This is my book bag. Nice, you know. It's a North North Face. Yeah. I don't know. I was gonna call it North Cross, and I was like, that is not right. I've already packed this, but I'm just gonna take everything out. So basically, what happened last year since we left at 5 a.m. There wasn't as much traffic since we were driving in the morning. Um, so, what uh, we did is we got there around 4, which is when we can check into our little place that we stay at. 
Um, it's like Orange Lake Resort is what it's called. It has it's really nice. It's a nice pools. It's those like three pools. Like it's basically like if you ever stayed on property at Disney, it's basically that but without the Disney magic. So if you like comparing that, you know, because they have like golf, a mini golf and stuff like that. Um, but if we sometimes we either are able to check in and so we can go change in our um, condo place where we stay or um, we don't and we have to change in the bathroom because we either go eat dinner if it's around that time if we're hungry or we usually go swimming when we first get there. So instead of having to pull up my suitcase in the car because we've had to do that some years, I'm deciding this year to be proactive and pack one bathing suit and my book bag with me so I can just pull that out. So I always bring this cover up. It's um, cover up from our Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia, which is where we live. Simple. It's just like an oversized like tank top that I throw in the. I just have like these booty shorts just in case I need them for the pool. And then I do have three bathing suits that I showed y'all in my packing video, but for this one, and I actually don't know if that one, this one was in that video. But for, I'm bringing this bathing suit. It's basically like this little cute little top. This isn't like the, this isn't more of my comfy one, but my other ones were already packed and I just used this one a day ago. And this is, like my other ones, this one's more for swimming and my other two are more for like the beach or like tanning and stuff like that because they, where's the tag, there we go, and then this is this bathing suit, simple, it's like high rise too, okay, and then I think I'm going to try, I'm definitely going to put my bathing suit in this like a little sheen bag because I love, biggest pro packing tip is to pack in bags, whether it's Ziploc bags, packing cubes, sheen bags from leftover, I even have like in my part one video I put like an American Eagle bag in there, like just grocery bags just to organize it so when you, like say we're going to the pool, when I need swimming suits I know where my swimming suits and I don't have to, oh no this bag just broke, I don't think this goes, <gasps> it might be going back on, let's go, so I broke one of these earlier because that is one thing you need to be careful. Okay, we're gonna take like a 20 second break and try to get this thing back on and then I'll be back. <gasps> got it back on. As soon as I said that, of course I got it back on. And then I kind of let the air out to compartmentalize it. So I think what I'm going to do is, okay, so in my book bag I have, this is the main pocket, which also in this bag I'm in charge because like at late nights, and um, we are going, like I said, to the park three days, but the other nights, late nights, we my family is a big card game player. Like, let's just say it gets very heated and competitive. If you know my family, um, you'll understand, but I'm in charge of bringing out the card game, so I'll show you that in a second. But this is, like, my main pocket, which is where usually I put, like, my binders, and then this is just, like, a smaller, and this is just kind of a smaller pocket. So I think I'm going to put my bathing suits in that pocket because I don't need them like throughout the trip there. So I think, let me bring this up here so y'all can see that one being like smart. So I think I'm going to stuff bins. I don't think my towel will fit though. Let me put this on the ground just to situate it. Yeah, my towel's not going to fit. So I'm going to zip this pocket up and that's basically it for the pocket. Um, that's all. Um, and here, and here I just have a charger that I put in here. And then, real quick, I'll show you something. Where'd it go? This is my AirPods. I need to go in here, so I'm grabbing them off the charger. I'm not using them today, but at least I'll know where they're at and where we're going back at. Then, and here is the games in the big pile. So I'm bringing a rain jacket. I have it in some hell baggy because. I originally was going to let it loose, but it folds up nicer in here. And it, when I put it in my lounge fly bags, I realized I don't want to get my lounge, my nice lounge flies wet once the rain has stopped. So I can fold it up and put it in this nice plastic bag so that it doesn't get everything wet. And then these are all the card games. So I'm going to take them out real quick and show them to you. Um, so this is a notepad for really anything. If Sometimes we have to write down phone numbers if we need to like call a restaurant or something or to keep score for games. Um, I always bring this with a pen because we never can find paper or little things. They're just like that tiny little note. 
course, you would drop this. Um, so it has a pin and self explain. This Yahtzee in a little bag because it's like its own score pads. Simple. And this we got a long time ago. It's really nice and fancy. It's Uno Face 10, which we play a lot. We play a lot of Face 10. That's the main thing we play. And then Uno. Because, and then there's like the snappy dresses, which I think is meant for like little, little kids. Because I think it's a matching game. Never played it. But we always joke about this one because it's just kind of funny. But that's, this is what we mainly play. But recently we've been on, we have had this for a while. It's Liar's Dice. Um, it's basically, you have to put your, all your dice in a cup and you roll them and then you try and then you guess and you so like say I, my, I had five fives in my thing and you could call it, it's really fun. And then this Jumanji Flux game. My mom really likes this game so we try to play it once. Um, this game's really short so if we had like 30 minutes you could play a game. This in 30 minutes. If you don't know any of these games just look them up. Because they're self explanatory. So these I had in the bottom. Um, like, let me see if I can really show you. Like in the bottom just kind of like tucked in there. Self-explanatory, I mean. Nothing really, so I'm going to put these in there, back in there for y'all. You can how I have them. Also, actually, one little thing. We did, during COVID, we did um, go through a plane because we didn't. Yeah, just the circumstances, we went on a plane. Like it was like 2021 or something. Um, but if you put these in your book bag and you're checking them, or like you're going through security, make sure you take these out because I had my bag full, like it's about to be, and this was 10 and it got like detected, I guess like metal detects for a weapon or something, I don't know. But they were searching for them and they made me look through my bag and this was in the bottom since it's heavy and they had to pull out everything. So just pro tip from my experience, if you do bring like 10 like this, maybe put it in a suitcase or like maybe take it out and then put it back in or put it on top so that they can instead of putting it in the very bottom but we're driving this time so that's nothing to worry about right now for me I'm just saying from experience so all those games let's see, let's all those games are tucked in. That's always been like my job. Like my mom always packs the pool bag and the sunscreen. My dad always packs like the road trip snacks and waters and like foods that we bring. And my sister never really does anything because also my family packs like an hour before and I'm packing, although this is a day before, but I usually pack this stuff the day before and it's been in a corner thrown. Um, then just my beach towel, pool towel. I'm going to sit in here and I can use that as an extra cover up on the way there if I needed to. Because I was debating on bringing a sweatshirt. Also, pro tip is if you do bring a book bag, this is like halfway full and so when we get stuff there I can put stuff in here on my back so that I'm not. Or like that, I mean like grocery bags, if you have that, put them in here and then you can like put stuff in here. So this is, I think, oh, I forgot my rain jacket that I had seen out here. I think that's it for this bag. Rain jacket needs to go in here. That's it for this bag. Nothing really. Well, my iPad, which is charging right now, will go in there. But that mostly will probably just sit in the car because I'll use that anyways. So that's this bag done, packed. Got that over there. Move on to my toiletries. Now, I do bring a big toiletry bag because this came with my old suitcase and it was really nice and I've always used it. Um, for the beach, I did put it, it could fit in my suitcase, but this cannot. So, most of this stuff is self explanatory. Here's the bag, so I'm not going to go through it. I might just label like two of the bags. In this first pocket, I have like my hairbrush, and here I have hair ties, like elastic ties for when I braid my hair um, because I always braid my hair in the parks or with long hair, it's just not fun having it down in hot Florida weather. And like regular hair ties, box pins, stuff like that. Then a hairbrush, then in here. Also, I think my dad's knowing, so you're probably gonna hear that. That's fun, because it's probably gonna be really loud. Also in here, I always keep my chargers because my chargers are, I'm not going to, I'll show you them. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hurry up so that y'all don't hear my dad knowing. 
they're magnetic and this my phone has wireless charging so it sits right here my apple watch goes in here and then my airpods can charge right here so it's really easy so that will go in there but i'm not he's right out my window i'm sorry guys we're gonna go quick we're almost done hopefully y'all can hear me i'll try to like talk this has all like mini shampoos stuff like this and body wash that's what this bag because i always I always use this bag because basically you can throw this near the shower and it's simple. Then in here there's hairspray for when I braid my hair, perfume from Body Bath and Body Works, sun gel. My mom always packs the sunscreen but I do get burnt easily. I mean if I put sunscreen on I'm fine but if I don't then we're in a problem or if I like I fall asleep. So I have this cool down sun bone gel miracle worker and it never makes me feel. So then I have Garni, I've never known how to say this. Garnier skincare melisser cleansing water for my face. That's what I use to wash my face. And then this bag, I always like these in the morning and at night. I can always take it out because my deodorant, my mouthwash, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, in it. So it's just like grab, go in the morning. It's like we're rushing, especially for that early Magic Kingdom that day where like it's at. Probably have to wake up like 6 a.m. Or around that, maybe like 5 a.m. to be on my bed. We'll figure that out later. Then, um, also, I used to have a makeup bag, but I'm currently using it for something else, so I'm just using a plastic bag. Um, for Magic King, for like Florida, um, I do wear a little bit more makeup on like a daily basis, but I do, I, this is what I wear basically foundation, a little bit of concealer. Well, I do concealer first, then foundation, then a little bit of, maybe a little bit of blush, like, yeah not noticeable at all it just makes my face not as pale in the summer I don't really need it because I'm tan but in like in winter my face does get really pale so that's what I use it but it's like not noticeable and then uh, what's this mascara I could not think of the word and then two brushes and a beauty vendor so I don't use much at all and especially for the Florida days I'll most likely just use mascara and a little bit of foundation and maybe concealer definitely no blush and that's all that's in here then my curling iron, but I need to straighten my hair. That's why my hair is curly, but I'm going to take a shower tonight. I just did not feel like for this video at this moment because I'm packing doing that. Um, so pretend I stuck that in here, but that has to be taken out. That's everything. Also, I use different brushes, like my brushes and stuff, to brush tape in here. So I don't think I'm not brushing my hair at all today. I have that like separate in my sink. This is for traveling purposes just because I hate like transferring everything that's why it's this big bag so basically just oh and then my ring box because I don't take this I can't decide I'm gonna wear this in the park because if I get sweaty it does come off or like it doesn't come off and it doesn't get a little bit like slipper like right now I can't like it won't come off but if I get really sweaty sometimes it comes off I also never wear it in the pool or the shower that's why I bring this because I stick that this in, in here when I come showering because I don't want it when it does get wet it does definitely tend to like if i'm not paying attention it could slip off and this is like a real ring that i got for christmas one year and so my parents nor i would be really happy losing it because i love this ring um i think that's it really trying to decide looking around my room if there's anything else um that i need to pack i think that's it i think we're packed um it's really exciting um, I'm not going to really vlog any on Disney World um, because I don't have like a vlogging camera, but I've decided I do like post on my Instagram. There will be tons and tons of photos. I've already posted like a little story of a countdown. So if you go on my Instagram, you can see that it's private, but like I mentioned, I think I mentioned this in part one. Just ask and I'll accept. It's just so people don't see like my family or whatever. But um, pretty simple. Um, I was just saying something. Oh. I'm going to probably, I'll post much more on Instagram, but I might do like a little snippets, like just like a reel or whatever, like a shorts from YouTube on here with all like the, my phone videos. So I'm like vlog some, I won't like talk to y'all, but I might just video the shows and some rides and take, I definitely want to take the tons of pictures. So that's it. Um, I think that's it. So thank you for watching. Drita will be back in this video. I plan on doing Next video, I plan on doing a Trader's morning routine and night routine and maybe even like a weekly routine. So I might do a little series of that and then maybe like a month because I am planning on getting a little bit of stuff like from eBay maybe. Um, 
if I don't like find what I want at the Disney store. So maybe like in a two weeks when I get back there will be a photo video coming up for y'all of stuff I've gotten like I did last year. Y'all love that video. Um, that video has a lot of views so thank you for that. And I hope y'all like this video. My Instagram is linked down below so where you can get stuff from Dorito or just any Disney um, content from this week coming up. I'm very excited. I literally cannot go to sleep at all. That's why I'm rambling because a magical time. Bye! I'm gonna see part one to that of what I'm wearing. Um, just go click on the link down below and it will be there. This is more part two. So here's one. And I did add a couple things. I added my shoes, my two pairs of vans, and these are like sticky tapes in case I need to fix a shirt. And then I added, instead of my shorts just playing, I put them in like a what are these called? Packing cubes, and so that they're kind of together. So, and there's that. So here's this little, this little like little overview. There's that stuff. There's that stuff. But, yep. That's my suitcase.